Imagine that your daughter says to you, Mom, Dad, there's a beautiful party, and I want to go out and dance. Your daughter loves music and loves to dance. And it's a party for love and peace. And you, obviously, like a good mom, say, Yes, go. She is happy, wears her favorite outfit, puts glitter on her eyes, and leaves. The party is beautiful. Lights, people dancing. Starry sky. Your daughter is free. Her eyes are happy, and she dances. Then she hears shots, missiles above her head. She doesn't understand what's going on. She starts running, faster and faster, until she runs out of air. She feels pulled by her hair, thrown to the ground in front of a man, face covered. He punches her hard, hard, until she bleeds. Blood on her face, blood in the middle of her legs, terrified eyes. Your daughter begs him. No, please kill me. No, please, enough. But he says to rape her. Please kill me. But another one comes. Then another one. Then another one. Then another one. And another one. Stronger. Even stronger. There were eight of them. Then the last one. He shoots her. She dies. But he continues to rape her, yelling at her. On October 7, Hamas attacked all of us. Hamas attacked our values, our two countries, our two peoples. Life, family, home, democracy. It's time to act. Enough with the words. It's time to act. We must be united in condemning Hamas, in condemning them, in bringing them to justice. And if this ideology wins, what kind of world will it be? What will our democracy be like? My dear Italian brothers and sisters, I am worried about your homes and your daughters. It happened in my house, but tomorrow it will happen in your house too. I warn you, they don't deserve it. It's time to act. I want my daughter, my only daughter, to grow up feeling safe and proud of being a woman. A Jewish woman. Here in Italy, and in every other place in the world. Like I felt when I lived here in Italy, in my second home, my beloved home. I want a world that defends all women. So we must fight for democracy and for truth. And I too have hope, Asaf. I have hope because I know that truth always comes to light, and light always wins. This light is even stronger if it is united. Now for Christmas, for Hanukkah, we light it up for those who are no longer here, for those who are here with us, and for our hostages, kidnapped by Hamas, by the newborns who are still alive. who are only 10 months old, up to the oldest. 137 people, women, children of fathers, who must go home to make humanity win. Thank you. Thank you.